<laughs> oh, he's waiting for you to throw him one, Jeff. That other one. Oh. <laughs> they're good, aren't they? They are. They're just <laughs> so good. The kookaburras don't do that. Yeah, they catch Oh, they do, <laughs> but they're a bit, not as many. They, they miss a few. Uh, good morning, it's Jeff and Wilmer Budroom, and this morning I'm going to harvest some sweet potatoes out of a tomato box. I've got this tiny little tomato box here, and my strategy for last season's crop of sweet potatoes was to plant the runners little uh, tomato box during the winter so that in the spring I'd have the runners to uh, transplant to get our sweet potatoes and that worked really good and I thought well why not just leave them in there and see if we get some sweet potatoes out of it so I put four runners in here uh, two of the gold and two of the purple white uh, purple skin white flesh and, and I I uh, need this box to plant some strawberries so let's have a look and see what we get out of it I know for sure we got at least two got uh, purple sweet potatoes I know that because you can see them from the top and let's just see what we get out of it uh, well there's one <laughs> <laughs> so, oops, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Now, yeah, let's see if we get any gold. There's a couple of small ones I can see through the top. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, well, there's a feed. You've got to talk loud above these birds, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> only a shallow box. You can, as you can see, it's only you know less than a span deep. You can't, you can't expect to get a huge crop out of it, but, oh, there, yeah, there's a nice feed there. So, I'm thinking I might be going out to sea on Friday. So, I'll use these in my, in the food I'll take out with me. I'm looking forward to going fishing, actually. Yeah, I bet you are. You haven't been for months. Well, that's it. That's it out of this tomato box. Uh, I don't know what that'd be. Probably a kilo there, I suppose, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe a kilo. <laughs> you watch it. Yep. Got fantastic. I like a dog, feet. they're able to the just nation. catch it, and sometimes they fly up into the air and get it. He's calling his mate. Oh. His mother or father. This is the, a juvenile. Yeah. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. It's such a pleasure to have them hanging around our house. Throw one to the... Oh. I love that noise they make. One stop shop here. I got uh, 1.28 kilos out of that little tomato box. Oh, that's all right. Just got these two strawberries um, that one of our honey customers gave us a big clump of strawberries, so I'm just going to plant these in that box. So, see how they go. Uh, put a bit of. Uh, I'll just put some of this organic extra around 
outside. A bit of sugar cane mulch. And a bit of liquid fertiliser and just water it in. With our other strawberries and we've got some other strawberries over here and uh, off the same clump and uh, more over here so more here so we're hoping we might get some more strawberries to make some more strawberry jam this year Right here. Yeah. All right now I'll say goodbye now. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.